<laughs> what? Does Swag his whole siege machine? Hey, it's what on guys. Welcome back to Clash with Eric. These two noobs are at it again. Me and Aqui are fighting once again in the Town Hall 10 to Town Hall 14 HWT tournament. If you guys are wanting to get involved in this tournament later in the future, if you want to put together a team, I'll put a link for it in the description of the video. So definitely go check it out as we move into future seasons later on. But this is the playoffs now. This is the playoffs, it's single elimination all the way to the finals here. And me and Ake, we're gonna try to carry it all the way through. So if you're new here, make sure to like button, subscribe to the channel for more Clash of Clans esports, and let's go see if we can take him down today. Alright. Two single infernos. For classic bow witch without a siege machine. I like it. Downside of uh, this is the single infernos will burn up his golems, so he uses giants to go into the middle of the base. There, they also have higher damage output, but it's more targets here for the single inferno to have to burn its way through. Uh, bowlers, some of them are walking, some of them are going in. Freeze up the single inferno on a sentry. There's the CC pull lava hound. That's the uh, worst uh, case scenario here is uh, lava hound in the defensive CC when you do this attack. Has a queen for a long time, but a uh, nice rage. Another the base there, covering everything. Got the queen down. Get on this lava hound, which is expo on your left side is uh, hurting pretty uh, badly here. Queen's on it now. Okay, good. That flank's pretty strong. Right flank's doing well as well with that golem and the witches out there. Not doing too bad here, Aqui. Not doing too bad at all. That uh, expo and the single go down. I think you got it under control here. Need to get to this wizard tower on the far left side. It's gonna potentially be an issue for your witches out there. Golem needs to redirect off of the witches over on the right side, but the gold, the wizards are stepping into tanking positions. All right, still got a queen ability. Got a couple goblins as well. Your left flank's gonna fall, but the queen will take out that wizard tower. And she still has her ability. Aqui, you got it. Let's go. Aqui, I swear you're unstoppable in Town Hall 10. <laughs> oh, that's a thing I am. Yeah, I mean, have you missed yet the entire tournament? Still no misses. Still no misses on Town Hall 10, no siege machine, and be able to do that that consistently is pretty bomb. You gotta admit. Uh, I would rank Town Hall 10, no siege machine, as more difficult than Town Hall 14. Naqui, obviously a big old noob, but he's getting triples, so it's okay. We'll keep him. <laughs> cool, it's live. They're starting also at Town Hall 10, also with some witches and bowlers, but this one leaning towards a uh, little bit of a P.E.K.K.A. smash-ish attack here with a couple P.E.K.K.A.s and bowlers, or P.E.K.K.A.s and golems, I should say. But he'll use a bullet bounce plus a hog to go form the funnel on the other side there. Those bowlers aren't gonna last though. They're gonna get uh, picked off here by the cannon out there in the arch tower, so. It'll be a queen walk to take the town hall, grab out a couple Teslas, and make his initial entry into the base. But once he gets inside of the base here, he's got a long push here with no siege machine sport. And we'll see if he can keep it alive. No bowlers either. And it's basically just the, the P.E.K.K.A.s and a couple of super wizards that he drops out of his uh, CC. Well, balloons come down, just go search for some black mines. But the super wizards are going to put a lot of firepower in here. And that'll give him a pretty solid chance of dealing some heavy damage through the core. Uh, witches come out of the CC on defense. He'll quickly burn through those. That's a more ideal CC for this style of attack. Be a nightmare for an air attack to go through. or generating a bunch of skeletons for dragons to get stalled up on. I think the super wizards have survived decently into the core here. The P.E.K.K.A.s and the Golems continue to provide the tanking, but the Super Wizards are starting to veer off to the top side there, and they're going to get targeted and taken down. The P.E.K.K.A.s are working their way over to the, the Multi-Inferno, but they can't actually get into the compartment, so they're going to walk away from it. The heal's down. 
And the witches are trying to work their way into it as well, but the witches are going to get wrecked by that multi inferno. That multi inferno is going to be the last major line of defense on the base here. And without access to it, he's relying on his queen to go over there and take it. And she is going over there. If she gets there before the witches die there, then he might be in a good spot there. He pops the ability to ensure that they survive. He might be able to still pull this through. Honestly, looking pretty good at this point here. The Pekkas and the Golems break the wall. The witches are rounding around the outside here. There's one healer attack. I believe that he's got this one here. And it looks like these guys, even though their team name is Team Noob, they're also rocking it at Town Hall 10. Nice, clean attacks here. The Wizards did get some good value there. All right. Well, that's the stage here. Open up this war here with Town Hall 10s cleared. Two Town Hall 10, no Siege Machine triples. Is probably the first time at this entire tournament that I've seen anybody be able to pull that off in a set of attacks. So, impressive. Impressive stuff. Going live with a Blizzard Lalo. In three, two, one, here we go. I'm going to go in with a down, two balloons, blimp. Get the blimp to land inside of that compartment right there. Perfect. Reach it up. Don't miss with clones. Two, you got this. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Got the CC One, down, no need for poison. Two, three. Starting heroes. Nice value. Thank you. Okay. Queen star here. Should reach over and get that arch tower and then round up. Cool. We need to finish that off though. Okay. And some sneaky goblins up the line. Queen followed. Give a wall break. Break. Up king. Good. I'm gonna go deal with that. Okay, starting Lalo. Here. Blood didn't go down. What's that? Blood did not go down. Okay. Then one balloon at three o'clock. Okay, got it, got it. Thank you. You pacing your loons. Okay. Eagle. Ah! Missed it, missed it, missed it. Oh, we got inside the middle range. Good. Freezing the wizard tower. Or archer. I went to pop the freeze and I uh, misclicked a little bit there. Oh, we got it, we got it. Alright. Nice hit. Get the cleanup. Do I have the poison? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> what do I poison here? I'll poison the dead queen. Mm. Boom. And the CC. Yes. <laughs> yes. Let's go! All right. Now 12. Coming up next. Let's see what they do with their response. Snake live town hall 11. And you've seen it once. You've seen it twice. You've seen it. I don't know how many times here, but we're breaking this base out and seeing if it can defend once again. Nobody's been able to beat this base so far. It's been the plague of everybody's existence and we'll see if they are able to pull it off going with something a very different strategy than what we've seen other people approach with it in the previous wars here. But ever, we've had uh, we've seen two one stars and a two star with mass witches against this base in the previous parts of the season. And I figure, you know what? If it's that awesome, we should probably just take it out for one last hurrah here before we swap it out in another war here. But lose the healer to a black mine right there as he passes along to get ready to go into the town hall. First minute has elapsed here, but making good time on his uh, warden plus queen walk there. And the king will come in on the outside here while the jump carries him into the town hall. Take some eagle artillery strikes to his warden there, softening him up pretty heavily. 
He'll rage up and charge its way into the base here. If the healers transform to the Warden, that'd be helpful. But Super Minions come out of the CC, he'll freeze them up. Take another round of Eagle Artillery Strikes as he continues to charge his way through. The King, up his ability on the outside, will potentially engage the enemy King. It almost drew his attention, but he pops his Ward ability here as he goes through the Teslas, the CC, and the Town Hall. It's not going to last very long here. Now, watch for Black Mines in this area here. There's one. We want them to charge through the Town Hall, and that is trapped up to try to stop this. There's some Air skill. He's going to stall him up a little bit here. He's got a minute. And 15 seconds. Maybe Dragon goes up. There's another healer taking a black mine as he goes in to the back side of the base here. This multi inferno does not have clean access. He's gonna have to find a way to get into it. Looks like did they attack the what? They attacked that wall? That's the wall they chose? No, come on. <laughs> Out of all the possible walls they could have chosen to attack, they choose the intersection that gives him access to the multi inferno and to the eagle artillery. Does he have it, though? He's got a stone stem, or he hasn't used it yet. I don't know what he's waiting for. Not time. 40 seconds left, but he's got to get through a wall and get out of the base. Is there any possibility this is a good time fail, or is he just trying to swag? If he's not using the stone stem, it is costing him time. Heck is beating through the wall. Archer's coming to the backside. Super Archer's reaching all the way across there. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. All right. Okay. Somebody finally found a way to take this base down. And I guess that's why these teams are in the playoffs. So he's in a... <laughs> he's just going to slag his seed machine. <laughs> ah! <laughs> what? Just slag his whole seed machine? All right, well, I guess we're done with that base. I guess we can finally retire it. Five quakes, seven lightning mass witches. Here we go. Go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Quake over here. One, two, three, four. Okay, sending it. Golem, golem, golem. Witches. A bunch of here. King, warden, queen. Go right after the Eagle Artillery. And we'll hold this Warden ability for just a little bit longer. That wall open initially. Get me in. Minion over here. Okay, just hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. I'm gonna freeze the multi. Okay. Patience, patience, patience. Warden now. Okay. Super minion CC. Yep, yep, yep. It's fine. Got plenty of troops. Got a minion at the bottom working. A wizard over on the far left side. Now. Queen's heading her way to the town hall. Town hall's already softened up here pretty heavily. Need to get this uh, freaking multi-inferno down. Warden's on it. Witches are on it. Alright, we got it. Queen's heading back. Just up in the town hall. I'll pop our building in just a moment. Take the town hall down. Come on, Peach okay. Queen. Pop Queen. Come on, Queen. queen. Come on. Oh, the, I need to hold the King ability here. Town Hall didn't go down initially. We gotta have the King go and take it. Oh, come on. Don't one star. Come on, King. Cooperate with me here. Hey, okay, he's going to the outside. He can start his way back in potentially here. Some witches. We still got a lot of time. Let's just be patient. Hold on to the King ability as long as possible. Or can kill the Town Hall, maybe. Town Hall's like Freaking. one shot there from this uh, Log Launcher plus D. Two hits for a Warden. Two or three hits from a Warden. Okay, okay. I got the Skeletons working on the outside. Might funnel the King. I'm gonna be patient on this ability here. I don't want to pop it until after I engage the Town Hall. I think we're still good. Still good. Come on, get through, get through. Patience, 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 patience. And... Go back in, King. Pop it. Take the Town Hall. Good. Get the Arch Tower. Great star. Boom. Let's go. All nice. right. Holy shit. Woo. shit that was nice. <laughs> we got this. Why worry? Why oh worry? I just, I, if we do it for the, we do it for the content. We do it for the content. Let's sure. go. Whew. All right. That's two.
Nemesis live at Town Hall 12. Gonna be doing a zap into Pekka Smash here. Taking out the Multi Inferno. We've uh, we've been running this base for a while as well, and it's been very, very strong. And we'll see if he can get it done here. This is one of the approaches that does potentially work on this base here, but it's not always 100% consistent. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but we also have traps set specifically to try to stop this. He caught one right there, and he did lose one healer off of the initial get-go. But now he's going to search his way in. The Pekka start. The king out on the left flank. We'll work on the outside. We've got a balloon that's looking for black mines there. Good effort with those balloons. Search his way into the middle of the base here. The jump gives him access to the town hall, but doesn't actually... Hey, now there goes another healer to a black mine with this this trap. This entry is very specifically trapped up because I know it's a potential weakness on this base. There's another healer to a black mine. That's three down. Healers are getting targeted by the multi inferno that he can't reach right now. Oh, he can reach it. Okay, they're going to it. Healers are weakened up a bit there. A decent amount of damage. Stone Slammer starts on the outside. Wrapping around. There's a uh, black mine here to intercept this uh, Stone Slammer as well. They'll hopefully go off soon. Minute and a half left. Kind of dodging them. There they are. No, they went to the baby dragon. There's the tornado. Got a lot of force here still moving. Healers have survived. The Pekka stepped into the multi inferno. King dies to the giant bombs on the outside of the Tesla farm. That'll stop up the witches on the left flank. Loons and a baby. Or, oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. All right. Oh, man. We put all the traps in all the right spots to take out the healers, and it didn't barely even slow it down right there. So that is the approach of that base there. That's the one that works. They got our number. They did the research. They know. They know. Warren on air. All right. Let's pressure on. Okay. Simple funnel here for the heroes. Ooh, I school I'm going the wrong way. Yep. Fine, I think. Fine, it's fine. Get to that queen quickly. Okay, the queen locked the king locked right under the queen there, so that's good. Okay. Queen looking good. Get a Get a wizard tower too, that'd be really helpful if she goes south. Good. That warden, maybe get that wizard tower. Come on, queen, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Got it, sweet. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay. Sentry here. All the air defenses in the area will be affected by the ward ability. Okay, good. Nice start. Got your uh, blimp for the town hall. Multi down in the middle, good. Nice rage. Good rage. Need that wizard tower down the right. Got it, nice. Nice. Got a Tessa farm on the left side here, so. Good here. Lava hound drew out, unfortunately. Ooh. Okay, pop popped RC ability to get that wizard tower at the bottom. Okay, good. And then you can get bats down or minions down at the bottom to help the RC and clean up these uh, lava pups that are gonna come out. Ooh, Mr. Freeze. Oh, oh, they dodged it. They dodged it. Freeze it again. Now. Didn't get the shot off. Good. Oh, come on, bats. Come on, bats. Come on, bats. Tessa farm. Oh, hey, Kui. Oh, no. I'll go for percentage. I'll go for percentage. Okay, okay. Get as much percentage as you can here. Hound out of the way. Yep. Um, balloon. Go after the right side Tesla. It's a very low HP. You can one strike it. Might be able to get the. one. That's it. For the cannon instead. Oh. Here's the baby dragon. Pick it up. Damn. Uh-oh. 
Not good. Alright, well, hopefully we get defense at 13. I'll pop that hound with that baby dragon. Man. 82. <clears throat> nice try, man. Nice try. Oh, 13's tough. I almost got it through. A monk! God is live. Come at him with a Queen Charge Dragon Rider attack here. Making two separate entries, one for the King to go after the Artillery, the Queen, get ready to go into the single Inferno. Queen Charge begins. Get out the enemy road champion. Got some ground skellies as he goes into the single Inferno range. That's always a good time. Power through the road champion. That's an extra freeze there, potentially forced by the ground skellies pulling out early. The ice gloom's coming out. Where does he go to first? Freezes up the single Inferno. Luckily, also got the CC with that, so he doesn't get stalled up by the ice gloom's while he fights off the single Inferno. Healers are getting targeted, but he drops in a baby dragon to go snipe off that air defense there, and it does successfully take it down. The king misses the eagle artillery. Let's go. Come on, Ake, we hold. Not going the best for him here. Eagle artillery activation should be happening relatively soon. He doesn't have an alternate tank for it unless he starts his dragon riders relatively soon. He's got the blimp that he can use to take down hall. There goes a healer to a black mine. Come on, come on, Aqui. Hold this, hold this. There's the Eagle Artillery. There's another black mine under the healers. They're getting wrecked. Taking the Eagle Artillery strike here. Lots of incoming damage onto this queen as she steps into the king, the warden, and the scatter shot. There goes another round of Eagle Strikes and take his queen out through the ability. Take her out through the ability. Scatter shot firing. Come on, hit her. Hit her. Yes, yes. Let's go. Defense, baby. Pick up the percentage, and let's see if he can't cross 82%. Let's go. All right, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. He will get the percentage up to 50% here before he activates and engages the Town Hall. He swaps out to a Stone Slammer. There's the Town Hall activation. He should have enough to take down, but he burned up all of his spells there on the Queen Charge, which fell short. There's the Ward ability protecting, and he'll try to salvage anything that he can out of this, but that was... Very, very nicely and perfectly trapped up there to stop this attack in his track there. Barely stopping that Eagle Artillery takedown with the King with a couple Teslas and Grand Skellies in that compartment. And that's all about just enough so the Eagle Artillery could tag team and take down that Queen. And it worked out absolutely perfectly. But the percentage still climbing pretty high here. So we'll see what he can get. But it looks like he's going to climb into the 80s. Warden's gonna go down. The Eagle Artillery is still chipping away here. 80% should, uh, I think he's gonna miss. Yeah, he's not gonna hit 82%. We have a percentage advantage. And we can win it at Town Hall 14 right now. I just wanna say I baited that, Eric. I'm so happy it worked. Yeah, that worked out Holy great. <laughs> nice, man. Nice. You ran that base in a previous war, right? And you just baited that nope. entry? I, I feel no, like uh, I'm gonna be honest. I took this base from a Tunnel 14 video you posted like two days ago. Yeah. And it got tripled by this Queen Charge Rider. And yeah. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. All right. Here we go. Okay, go ahead. Going live in three, two, one. Here we go. Okay. Throw the sneakies. Yep. Nice. So you're giant off and wall breakers. Okay, I'm good. I need your zaps for the zappy the zap the sweeper. Hound CC. King is gonna pull the hound first. Okay. Queen. I use that freeze there. Popping King. We can get the town hall down. Sending it. Defense is down. Okay. Start the blimp at three o'clock, not with your dragons. Yep, I see. Then it. Richard. 
Oh, the raiders for the middle. You go to rage, triple clone warden. Okay. This is from the left side. I gotta get the clock. I gotta get this, uh, Just hold on. Head yeah, out, I, I gotta get this hound out of the way here. Yep, smart. Okay, hounds cross him back. RC's almost got a value though. Popping her ability. Got the multi. Ooh, this backside Tesla farm's gonna be a bit of an issue here there. Mmm. Base, man. It's tough. Base. It's a pain in the butt. Rocket Bloom's missed Oops, over on the left side here. Let's get a sneaky. Let's get the percentage as high as we can. Um, <laughs> what can I do with this minion? I'm gonna put it up top, try to get some percentage there. Dragons are still hanging on up there. Man, this base, I don't, it's such a pain. I thought that would work. Well, I guess we'll see if my defenses can hold on the last one. Oh, we have almost exactly the same base as they do. So if I can hold just as well as they did, then it'll come down to that. Come on, Dragon, get one more. Get one more. Yes, okay, 78, 78. Man, that backside here was rough. Oh, here we go. Ninja is live. The final attack of the war, the deciding attack, and he's got himself a Blizzard Lalo. See if he can get it on here. Blizzard Lalo. Obviously, a lot of potential in a base like this with all the compact area, but he'll start in with a couple balloons at the town hall. That's his pop on. Goes in a stone slammer. What? Why does he have all the invisibility if he's doing a stone slammer drop at the town hall here? Okay. Ability to control the pathing of the stone slammer. It drops out. Okay. Interesting uh, approach here. A blizzard out of a stone slammer, something we don't see every day. Well, uh, traps are going off there, but uh, not doing too much damage to him. He even brought a super wall breaker inside of his stone slammer to open up the wall and get a little bit deeper into the base. Oh, there we go. That section of the base out. I can start his heroes into the scatter shot, I assume. And we'll see how much value you can get out of the heroes here. But he'll pull the hound over to the right hand corner. Valka comes down to finish the funnel. Super wall break to get inside of the base here. The queen starts and he can charge his king and queen into the middle. With the CC already dealt with. It won't cause any problems with him there. Here comes the king. King will work with the queen here and try to get in there and get as much value as they can. Their goal is to get the enemy roar champion and get the eagle artillery. If he gets another wall break and goes all the way to the eagle artillery in the multi, then that'd be some massive value here and set up a relatively easy Lalo. We'll see what he can do here. There's the next wall break. Giant bomb. Oh, giant bomb killed the wall breaker. Let's go. That's huge. That's huge. King surging south now. Which way is he going to go? Which wall is he going to open? He still is going to the middle of the base there. He attacks the wall, but he dies early before getting the wall open. Queen's still alive. She's going to ultimately go south here because... Oh, yes, 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 yes. Here comes the Lalo from the top side. Hound crosses through. Boom's out in front. Hound's kind of sticking behind. Little red bombs going off in the middle of base here. Lots of red bombs going off here. The multi inferno doing work. The Eagle Artillery is striking down. He's going to be ending on the Eagle. The Queen is alive with her ability, but attacking the wrong wall. There's the ward ability. Lots of multi inferno on the backside here. Gets the tornado trap triggered. Multi inferno in the middle stays standing. Red bombs are going off everywhere. Let's go! Stop it! Come on, multis work! Protect the Eagle! Protect the Eagle! Protect the Eagle! Yes! Yes! But the percentage! No! No! Haha! <laughs> this cat! Oh, we got the defense! But we don't have the percentage! And they've got it! Oh, rip! Man! If I would have protected my clones with my ward ability on my attack, Hit a one. We lose by a few buildings. Looks like seven buildings is all that separated us in this war. But unfortunately, 
All the top end bases hold and the percentage swings in their favor. That's the end of the road here for these two noobs. The other noobs out of Team Noob, playing out of Request and Go, will move on to the next round of the Hunt Wave Tournament. Oh, it feels bad, man. It feels bad. All right, guys. That's where we wrapped up for today. Thank you so much for coming out and uh, supporting us here. And uh, we'll try to keep on following some of the other teams that survived in this tournament here and continue to push on. And maybe we'll do some more of these uh, Town Hall 10 to 14 Wars just exhibition in the future if you enjoyed them. If you do, let me know in the comment section down below. And we'll see you guys in the next one.